my journey started when i studied psychology right so i think psychology as an education got me interested in understanding how human beings function and that is actually what led me to studying design and till today my career according to me has been defined and in a lot of ways supported by the learnings of psychology rather than just design right uh, what does that mean basically design on its own i feel cannot survive in the world today more so because of the fact that uh, there are many ways in which you can get design done without really having a designer on role right hence a designer who has a spike a spike is essentially depth of knowledge in one particular industry or one particular social uh, 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 education right so let's say there's a designer who also understands sociology there's a designer who also understands psychology uh, there's a uh, designer who has done some amount of ethnography that makes a designer way more uh, valuable to an organization than just a designer who knows design right so over my 12 years i spent 60% of my time in agencies and then the last 4 years has been at dr reddy's and uh, i think that one of my biggest learnings over this entire period is that being a strategic designer helps you go very fast in all the right directions basically what does it mean to be a strategic designer is to say that you're questioning everything rather than just taking directions as to what has to be done that's what i have always done whether it is social media posts i have always questioned that what is the strategy behind this post right what is the what kind of engagement are we looking at how will that engagement translate into actual sales if you don't ask those questions then you will just become a social media post designer similarly for websites whether it's platforms i'm always asking about how will this increase the productivity decrease the turnaround time uh, thinking about the business metrics rather than thinking just about how it will look basically so my learnings and what i would tell students is to be the voice of the customer in every room they are and be the voice of the business that will actually make them way more valuable than just being you know designers basically then you will thrive in the future so i think we are all right now clearly seeing how ai is you know destroying jobs for designers okay i mean destroying is an understatement because uh, when it comes to ui itself there's a bunch of stuff out there that completely uh, you know creates an an interface for you and i myself have been i've been trying those in uh, those websites and they are phenomenal in the beginning i was very skeptical i was like you know only human beings can do this and you know ai can't do this and then when i actually saw it it's it's not true right the ai is creating a uh, ui that is phenomenal in nature so when it comes to how you grow as a designer you need to know that anything that can be done by ai will become completely irrelevant in the next one year okay so if you are over indexing on your ui skills today or if you're over indexing on purely graphic design skills today you need to think about how that will impact your future because in a year's time there'll be enough out there where it will do it on its own right the only way to stand out as a designer in the future is to have an edge which is uh like i said a social a sociology edge a behavioral design edge uh, an industry edge so if you're you have deep science understanding that will give you quite an edge let's imagine you join a pharma company even if you don't understand pharma right at the beginning but if you have some understanding of how you know the pharma business works and if you actually go deep and study it that that peak that edge that is how designers will thrive in the world yeah for sure so i mean over the last whatever 10 years i have had interns from possibly every design college in the country and in my opinion design skill uh, is something that can be taught according to me but proactive energy cannot be taught right and there are some colleges which inculcate a sense of a sense of privilege in their students which basically then 
takes away that proactive energy so then they come in thinking that they deserve everything that they're getting and they only put in that much energy into what they're doing however what i've seen very different in the isd students and that's why i have 70 percent isd students in my team they come with a lot of proactive energy they are they are hungry to do more they push themselves above and beyond they're very very humble i don't see that that kind of privilege and that misdemeanor coming from the place that you know i deserve this everybody who comes from isd and maybe like 90 percent of the st students that i have from isd go uh, come from the point of view of being extremely uh, down to earth and agreeable when it comes to pushing themselves beyond what they know so that's what separates isd students so you know the so i come from a place where ui ux was not a thing when i so when i started out ui ux was not a thing right it was not taught in our college it was not something that was spoken about in other organizations at the moment as well so for me i have certain things i wish i was taught when i was in college so a lot of my uh, inputs to inputs to the curriculum come from what i believe i should have been taught when i was in college essentially and the way the curriculum is built today i feel it is not built for uh, industry uh, okay the way the curriculum is built today i think it doesn't allow for what is required in the industry so whatever actually i believe can help the students in any way to be more hireable i try to bring that into the curriculum basically yeah i think that it's going to be very exciting uh, come with an open mind come with you know come with the gusto to try different things to explore uh, this world of pharma don't be fearful of the possible boredom that can come with uh, you know a pharma organization it it can be very interesting i wake up every morning feeling extremely excited by the kind of work you know i get to do every day the kind of problems i get to solve so i'm pretty sure that all of you will you know love it so yeah thank you